Hello everybody. I want to show you a new thing that I came up with today. I get a lot of questions about can you make a field in Trello mandatory? And the short answer is yes. The long answer is actually kind of. Actually, no, I said that backwards. The, the, the short answer is kind of. The long answer is yes, but it's in a very hacky way and requires a little bit of automation. So stick with me. Here's how it works. Let's say you have a custom field that you want to be you know, you don't want a card to move into your doing workflow unless that field is filled out. So what you do is you have that field. And then you're going to go to create some automation. And while there's not a way to specifically say, hey, this field is required, what you can do is you can make some automation that says if this field isn't filled out, shoop the card back to where it needs to go and like, let someone know. So for instance, I actually created this rule. So when a card with the custom field name cleared is added to a list in doing so you'll find this under just in case you want to see where that action is if you go to these card move actions when a card is added to list doing the filters you're going to add the filter because we want cards with the field custom field name cleared so basically empty it's like that when that is added to list doing then move the card to the top of the list to do so basically move it back do not accept it sitting in that list Post a comment, you can tag the username. So basically the person who just did that action, you can tag them and say, hey, add the name field before moving this to doing. And then you can do all sorts of other stuff. You can add a red label. You can, you can even rename the card. So like, let, let me show you how this looks in the opens. Here is a card. All right, so let's say I'm like, oh, I don't need to add the name field. I'm gonna just drag it over. Bum, ba -dum. just sits there. It's just sitting there. Oh, boom, okay. So notice what all happened there. It moved it back. So it moved it back over here. It's no longer sitting and doing. It tagged me and said, hey, Brittany, please update the name field. It changed to a siren emoji, added a red label. So hopefully it should get somebody's attention. Like it does take it a second because it technically does move over there. I can't physically stop the card from actually moving in there, but it will push it back over. Ooh, watch this. This is going to be funny. It's going to call it please fix, please fix. Yeah, it did. So, um... So yeah, so if you ever want to do that, that's exactly how you're going to want to do it. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it with multiple ones. In theory, you can or the logic together. And so you could, well, for instance, um, you could say, you could do some regex in here and say name or, um, you know, another custom field. I'm having a little bit of trouble actually making that work, but I will post a follow-up video if I'm able to get that working. But otherwise, you could just make you know, a, a series of rules. So yeah, it could get out of hand if you have a thousand different custom fields, but if it's just like one or two, or, you know, if you want to require someone to add a label to a card, just swap out that action and, or sort of swap out that trigger and then make the action to be everything, you know, you would want to do to alert that person. So I hope this helps and let me know if you've got any other questions or ideas.